Hello and welcome back to my channel. This week I am back from Arizona as I mentioned last week and I have everything moved out of my van so I am not living a van life um, I'm not living in a van life situation right now so uh, I'm trying I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for my content because I would like to put a video out every week and I will put a video out every week. Uh, so this week I've actually just looked at some old video that I have from last year. Last year I did my, I did a lot of camping trips last year, just one nighters and two nighters, but I did one longer trip that was nine nights long and I'm going to actually show you some video from that now. There was a lot of firsts for me during that trip, so let's look at the video and see what I'm talking about. Well, I'm on my way to work for the last time in about three weeks. I'm very excited because this is next three weeks is going to be the true test to whether van life really works for me or not, at least in its current state, or it will tell me more about what I need to do to improve it. Hopefully, over these few videos, uh, maybe I'll have some input for me that will be helpful. Anyways, I'm very excited. I'm going to spend, let's see, two days camping at Harold Park and then I'm going to come home for a day, get some laundry done, have my parents over for supper and then the next day I'm going to head out and it'll be an eight day trip or I'm going to try and play that a little bit loosely, but an eight day trip to Vancouver, see a lot of friends. Victoria practice um, sleeping on a street or getting more comfortable with that or deciding if that's something I ever want to be comfortable with makes me a little bit nervous but uh, I think I would learn how to choose spots as, as some of the other band lifers that I've watched have mentioned uh, you learn how to feel comfortable in a spot or know whether it's a good spot or not just by the feel of it so the first night will be spent in front of a friend's apartment building and I've Google Earthed it to look and see what it's like and it actually looks like a super nice neighborhood. Her apartment's on one side of the street, there's a park on the other. Looks like a nice quiet kind of park. So we're off on my way to work. Alright, I just pulled over to set my phone up. I'm just leaving Armstrong now for my first trip that's longer than two nights. I'm heading down to the coast. through Monty Lake. I forget what the fire was called, but it was huge. So I was driving through an area where the highway had only been open for a little bit. Um, I'm just showing you some clips of some of the fire damage that happened that summer that was so devastating to so many people. All right, second night out on my camping trip, and this is where I stayed, in front of my friend's apartment, and behind another camper van. I believe this part was my third night out, and I was gonna stay at Spanish Banks, but I didn't feel, um, the parking lot was closed overnight, and I didn't wanna park out on the street, so. I moved on. So I wanted to just explain why I didn't stay at Spanish Banks and that was that uh, um, a like I mentioned the parking lot was closed but the other reason was that um, the street that you could park on that a lot of van lifers do seem to park on there's a lot of them parked there uh, it was a four-lane street 
it was very busy and because I use a wheelchair and I get out on the on the driver's side of the car I'm getting out into traffic so I'm lowering the lift down which takes time and transferring to my wheelchair and then moving to the sliding door and um, transferring back into the van from my chair onto the floor of the back of the van all doing all that in traffic and it just didn't feel safe to me which is why I didn't stay there that night the next night I stayed at the Walmart parking lot in Tawasson. I was heading over to the island the next day and this is like three minutes from the ferry terminal so this is where I stayed that night. The next night I stayed in my friend's driveway in Nanaimo or close to Nanaimo. When I took the blind off the window this is what I saw. Unbelievable. So beautiful. that Jordan River. Hopefully you can hear that. So I'm on Vancouver Island. And that's the United States over there, in fact. So I was trying to tell me I'm roaming. This is at Souk, and it's the only night that I paid for camping. After Souk, I went to Victoria, and frankly, you can't go to Victoria without going to Rogers Chocolates. Or a walk on the Inner Harbor. Okay, that's it for this week. Uh, I do have one other thing that I wanted to mention. This week, I'm actually starting a new thing on my channel. I've uh, My plan had always been that uh, this channel would be about van life, and that's the primary focus of it. But I also, because my faith in God and in the words in his Bible are um, of key importance to me, they're the main thing in my life, they're the main guiding factor in my life, I wanted to have another part of my channel just be a small meditation each week. And what I plan to do is just read words from the Bible. The Bible is an amazing source of guidance, of peace, of learning about who God is um, and what that can mean for you. So I've just decided that I am going to uh, start reading passages every week. And hopefully you will enjoy that too. I have put this on a separate day of the week so that if this is not something that you're interested in, you don't have to watch. Um, but anyways, it like I said, it's something that's really important to me and really valuable to me, and I hope that you also find it the same. So watch for it on Thursday. I will be posting the first one on Thursday morning. Have a good day.